Good morning, guys. Um, I've got my bike ready um, in the garage, but facing the light, so I can work on uh, changing the stock exhaust for one I bought yesterday. Uh, Leo Vinci LV1. I don't remember the make, but anyway, it's the uh, it's the exact make for the XSR 125. Hey guys, and I just wanted to show you the unboxing. It's box was already open because uh, we opened it at the shop. Okay, plenty of protective pads, and there is the beauty. Wow, she's heavy. TV killer. Beautiful. Let's have a look inside. Awesome. And then, oops, let's just put this. Um, where are we going to put this? Let's just put this over here. And I expect, let's just get all the protecting protective foam out of the way. And I'm guessing all the tubing is in here. So obviously, um, this um, exhaust, full system exhaust, is um, Euro 5 compliance. So I do have a, I don't know how you say it in English. In Spanish is uh, homologation, homologation, I'm not sure you call it. So I have got the document, so when I go for the um, the yearly check, obviously it's every four years, the first year, so. And here's the rest of the his exhaust parts and everything else, guys. Now, I'm not going to do a video putting it on, because I have never changed an exhaust in my life. So, um... I have no idea how to do it, guys. I have no idea how to change it, um, so I'm gonna have a go. Yeah, so I'm gonna make some errors. So I'm not gonna. I've never done it before, so I'm not gonna actually record me doing it. So it's not a show you how to change the exhaust video because I'm not sure. But obviously, I'm, I'm expecting to have to unscrew uh, unscrew the exhaust. Obviously, I think I'll have to take this off as it comes from here through here the and it's one whole piece guys so um yeah i'll have to take this off i'm guessing so yeah uh, see how it goes i will do a recording test now with the audio and um, so we can compare tests but as i've learned um on youtube obviously the quality sound isn't the same it sounds great but obviously there's nothing like being in person so um I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference, but um, obviously, as I said in my first video, when I first bought the bike, it's, uh, on YouTube, I didn't think it sounded that well, but actually, when I picked her up, the stock exhaust isn't that bad, it doesn't sound that bad, okay? So anyway, yes, um, I will do a video now of uh, the sound with the original stock, and once it's um, fitted, I'll um, do another video, guys, okay? So wish me luck just got um, the silencer out of the bag let's go outside with better light and um, she's beautiful man let's see in there she is beautiful Look at that. sorry I'm using oops two hands only and um, yeah obviously I will be doing a, a test with uh, DB killer and we have the DB killer, okay? Yeah, man, she's good, I'm happy with this, man. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I'll do a video now with the original um, stock exhaust uh, sound, okay, guys? So, as promised, let's do the sound with the stock exhaust. <laughs>
as I said, it doesn't sound that bad. But yeah, let's see what the difference is. So I'm gonna get on to it with it. I'm gonna get on with it now. Okay, guys. See you later. Okay, guys. So I've took everything out of the box. So we've got the actual tube. We've got the silencer. Um, inside is the catalyst, which is what I need for it to be legal, road legal. Um, the holder, the um, whatever you may want to call it, the um, exhaust silencer and grip holder. Then we've got the um, paperwork instructions. We've got the um, triangle, I call it a cold tanger thing, which is to adjust the springs onto the hooks, the exhaust. Then we've got the tools and a few different paperwork. So that's it. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys, so um, so what I've done is at the moment, obviously stock exhaust is still on, but what I've done is took the plastic protectors off here. So it was literally um, three little metal uh, screws here, here, and where's the other one? I don't remember. Which is to remove the metal protector plates. And then afterwards, to the remove the actual plastic was just two big screws, which there were actually these here. Sorry, the, the three to remove this was on the actual plastic, which um, is here, I've taken off now. So now, um, that's it, it's all cleared. I can actually start now um, removing the exhaust. Hey guys, so it's fitted after, uh, obviously, just to remind you, it's my first time uh, changing the exhaust on the bike. So um, it took me an hour and 10 minutes. Um, I took the old um, exhaust out off, which is over there. And I put the new one in. And now all I've got to left is just to put the engine covers back on. And then we'll turn her on and see how she has sounds, guys, okay? And uh, yeah, I wanna see how I can get the DB killer off so we can get both sounds, okay? See you in a bit. Guys, uh, it's finally done. New exhaust on, the old empty. Engine covers back on. Engine covers back on. Let's see how it sounds. Uh, to be honest, I have tried to take the DZ cut off. I can't seem to do it. I'm using some pliers and some cloth, so I don't allow them to run. I don't to go. So I just quickly turn her on. And let me know if you guys hear a difference in sound. difference it sounds much better much nicer uh, as I said the, the stock exhaust isn't that bad I mean oh, what a beauty I'm happy so yeah all good um, I did see some guys mention that maybe you have to get get the exhaust warmed up before DB, DB killer can come out So um, yeah, I'll see if maybe later I can um, take it out and if I can, I'll uh, do another video with different sounds, okay guys? Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, any questions, any way I can help, I'm not a mechanic, but yeah, if you want to change your exhaust, it's very simple, it's literally to take out bolts, nuts and screws and that's it, and it's just to bolt it back on, put the springs back on, and it was very simple, very easy, as I said, I'm not a mechanic and uh, yeah, not a problem my time it's my day out from work today so yeah all sweet guys uh, catch you later bye